Hi, I'm going to be doing the Word One Project One file. I'm recording this at home, so you might hear some animal noises in the background. My cat is trying to help me with this, uh, which really isn't a help, but I hate to really upset her by telling her that. So anyway, I'm in Module 3. You should, before you attempt to do this, read through the Word Chapter 1 um, information in Blackboard. It's going to give you a lot more information. With this document, I'm just going to be completing the Word 1, Project 1. So I'm here in Module 3. Got your assignment information listed there. Um, here's your text. And then here's our Word 1, Project 1. So if I click on this, this is the same place when I'm finished that I will uh, be submitting my documents. I scroll down here. See, there's three documents that I need to download to my computer. So I'm going to open up the instructions. They're right here. Uh, so I've got another tab with my instructions. I'm going to click here. I'm going to open up my starter file. It's going to show up down here at the bottom of my screen. And I'm also going to click on this support logo. And there it is. And uh, I'm going to just stop right there for that. I'll, be, I'll show you where I'm going to be finding that here in just a minute. Now, I have actually printed off my instructions for this assignment, so I really don't need to look at them on my screen. But if I didn't have them printed off, what I could do was I could put my mouse up here on the tab, and I could scroll down and hang on to it with my mouse still down and go clear to the edge. And now I've got my own you can see it's by itself on this tab, on this um, file. I'm going to click on it again. It's going to be half screen. Then I'm going to come over here to my Word Project 1 module. It's right here that I had opened. And it's going to be on the other half of my screen. So I can see my instructions on one half of the screen and my document on the other half. Now it might take a little bit for you to get the click and drag to get the screens that way. What you need to do is just click on your document and just um, then just drag down. Now since I have mine already printed out, I'm going to go ahead and open it. Now you might have a yellow, this is a protected document on your screen, and if that's the case, it would be right up here across the edge um, below the ribbon. Just click the Enable Edit button. The first thing you need to do then is save it and mine's already been saved to OneDrive, but you're going to go to File, and then and be Save As or Save a Copy. You might see either one of them. And you might want to go ahead and create your OneDrive account. And we talked a little bit about this in, I think, Modules 1 and 2. Um, it's a free account. It's a good place to save it. That way you can work on it and access it anywhere you go, as long as you have access to the Internet. So. Save, mine's already saved um, with my last name Sessions on here. And now I'm ready to do step one. Um, you always want to read through all of your instructions. You work in the Administrative Supportive Dep Department of Associated Regional Hospital and are creating a flyer about upcoming safety workshops. Change the document theme colors to blue warm. So up here in our design tab. This is where we can change our themes, the overall look of our document. And then we also have colors over here and we want to make sure that we have the blue warm selected. If you don't have the blue warm selected later on it's going to ask you to find a particular color and you're not going to find it and that's because you skipped this step. I'll click back on the home tab. The next number, number two is change the case of the flyer's headline paragraph to capitalize each word change the font size to 36 and apply the fill blue gray. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make this capitalize each word and we could go in and capitalize each word but hey what we're going to do is we're just going to select that whole line up here in our font grouping we have our change case and then we're going to say capitalize each word and it's going to take care of that for us. Now we're going to change the font size to 36 Got that done. And then we're going to change the color. 
We're going to change the text fill. So right here, this is our little text effects and typography grouping. And we're going to come down here and we're going to find the one that says fill blue gray accent color one. Again, if you don't see this, you missed the very first step to change the color theme. Now we want to, oh, I'm getting a little thing on battery running low. Plug your computer in, so let me do that. There we go. Okay, now um, we want to center the paragraph. So we're going to get up here to paragraph, and then we're going to center. So that is all step two. As you're doing these, if you have them printed out, you might want to mark off where you're at so you can go back later on. Please make sure you do all of your steps in order, otherwise you're going to get messed up. Number three is resize the safety first picture to a width of six inches. So here's my safety first picture. So the first thing I have to do is select it. I have my little dots around it saying that I have it selected. Up here in my ribbon, I now have picture tools as part of my ribbon. And over here in my width, I want to change this width to six. So I'm just going to... Doesn't say anything about the height, just the width. If you mess up or do something like in that case, my cat decided to put her paw over my keyboard. Up here is our undo and redo buttons, so you can um, undo and redo and get rid of stuff or redo it again. And then we have our little save. Now my auto save is on. You want to make sure yours is on, but still every once in a while, I would say after every step, go up here and hit this save button so you know you have it saved. So we've got our picture width changed to six. Now we want to add a um, simple frame. We want the simple frame black. I'm just going to select that. And now we have our black. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Okay, number four, underline the text three hour sessions below the safety first picture. So down here, I've got this text three hour sessions. I'm going to highlight it and then I can use my little bar here to underline. Number five, italic. Ital italicize the text safe workplace in the paragraph the workshops cover so down here we've got the workshop color covers we want to italicize safe workplace right here is the italics it's also up here on our ribbon you can use either either area to take care of it number six bullet the four paragraphs of text above the signature line. Now the signature line is your last line of the paragraph, so this one down here at the bottom. We want to take this, these four, so I'm going to select all of that equipment. Sorry, my cat jumped up. I'm going to highlight these four again and we want to make that a bulleted list so up here we've got our bulleted list of oh, I missed one change the font of the text to book Antiqua so up here over here is our font now the font is in alphabetical order so I'm going to scroll down over here till I find the book Antiqua Change that. Want to change the font color to dark purple text too. So over here we've got anything to do with our font is over here. And we've got our fourth one over here is a dark purple text too. And then we want to change the font size to 14. Oh, to 12. And then with my cat interrupting me like she did, I didn't get the bullet, so we want to bullet these four paragraphs. So up here in our paragraph button is our bullets, and I'm just going to take this first one and make it a bullet, and I'm going to go ahead and save. 
Okay, so that was number six and number seven. Ready for number eight. Shade the paragraph containing the signature line to dark purple text to lighter 80%. So remember I said the signature line is the last line here um, of our paragraph. And so we wanna shade this. Now this first grouping is the font. That's where we mess with our font. This next one's the paragraph. We wanna shade this paragraph. So I'm gonna click on this little paint bucket here and we want the dark purple text to lighter 80%. And if you just put your mouse over the different boxes, it's gonna let you know what color it is. In the same paragraph, so the same paragraph, we're gonna just leave that selected. We're gonna change our spacing. So right here is our line and paragraph spacing options. We wanna come down here to line spacing options. We want our space before the paragraph to be 12. So it's going to increase that to 12. We want the after to 6. And this is just how much of a blank space do we want before or after the paragraph. So you can see when we hit that, it moved it down just a tad. So now we're ready to insert that picture file. So I'm just going to put my says insert the picture file in the blank line at the bottom of the page. So if you want to make sure that you're at the bottom of the page and you're on that last blank line, up here on the ribbon you've got your show hide button. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to show anytime I see this little backward P, um, it says align. Somebody's hit the enter key. So right here is the very bottom. So I can always make sure that I'm at the very bottom of my document by doing that. So I'm going to insert that picture I downloaded. So I'm going to come to Insert. And I'm going to go to Pictures because it's on my computer. And I'm going to go to Downloads. Okay, where is it at? There we go. Downloads. There it is. So I had to look a little bit to find it, but there it is. And I'm going to insert. Now you can see it's way too big. So I need to change some things to it. The first thing it says is to resize the picture to a height of 0 0.8. So up here, I'm going to be in my picture tools. Here's my height this time, up and down. And I want to make that 0.8. And then I'm just going to hit the Enter key. So you can see now it's at the bottom of my page. And now I'm ready for number 11. Add a one point dark purple text to page border. Now it doesn't say picture border, it's page border. For the, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click off of that logo because I don't want this just to be around the logo. I want it to be on the whole page. So I'm going to come up here to the design tab and clear over here on the right is page borders. So I'm going to select page borders. I want the third one down in the style list. My color, I want it to be that dark purple text too. And I want the width to be one point. I want to make sure I'm applying it to my whole document. I'm going to say OK. So now I have that line around my document. I'm going to save. I'm going to go to my View tab and I'm going to view one page. And now in my instructions, I have a document that shows me what it's supposed to look like. And I can look and see if it matches or if there may, may be something I need to still do. And there is. Um, I still need to do the spell check. I know that because down here illness has that little red line. So let's do the whole spell check. So I'm going to go to review and spelling and grammar. Okay, illness. Yep, I need to change that. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to change it. I want to ignore my names. And there's my spelling and grammar check is complete. I can save it, saved to OneDrive, 
I can now close it. And I'm going to go back to Blackboard, back to the assignment. Make sure that I'm in the Pro Word 1, Project 1. And I'm ready to attach a file. So I'm going to come down here to Attach File. I'm going to browse my computer. And I'm going to go to OneDrive. And here's my Word 1 Project 1 sessions. And over here I can see my date. And I'm going to say open. So let's attach that one. And I can say submit. And I get this um, because I'm not in the student view. I'm in the instructor view, and it does like me to um, do things in the instructor view. So let's check here into inner student view. Going to find module three. I want Word 1, Project 1. I'm going to go down here, Attach Files. Browse my computer. Find that document. Open and Submit. Okay, so now I've submitted that document here in Blackboard. It's going to show me a picture of what my final document uh, will look like. Now this doesn't always show you exactly what it is. What I do when I grade is I come over here and I click on your um, submission over here on the side. Okay, so This is a good place to make sure that you did submit the right assignment. And then give me about a week to grade. Um, I'm not a computer. I'm human. I've got to go into each one of them and grade them. So if you have any questions, send me a message in Blackboard or use Remind.